Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week, the weekly update about technology and marketing. This week I'm filming from Austin in the US. I hope you will enjoy the update. One of the questions I get very often is, Steven, do you think that the big technology companies from China will also put their foot on the ground in Europe? Uh, the answer is more and more clear. Huh? It's becoming yes. Um, this week, JD announced, and JD is a, a part of Tencent, and it's the, the second biggest e-commerce player after Alibaba in China. And JD announced that they're going to invest more than 1 billion euros to enter the European market. They will start in France. After that, will, they will go to Germany and the UK. And they want to put their foot on the ground. They're going to build a logistics network so that they can give great service just like Amazon does. So it's going to be a very, very interesting battle on European grounds between the Chinese and the American e-commerce player. The biggest news this week was, of course, the uh, launch of the uh, Falcon Heavy by Elon Musk and SpaceX from Cape Canaveral. Uh, it was my, my favorite part of the show it was not the launch, but was when the, those two rockets came back to Earth. It was like magic when you saw them return. And uh, in my opinion, this wasn't just an enormous project and an enormous technological uh, thing that happened, but also the PR and the marketing that they've done around it was just amazing. Um, the number of people that were watching on the YouTube live was incredible. The whole idea about Rocket Man behind the steering wheel, the music of, St of David Bowie, it was just amazing how well they've done the storytelling of this. There was a new uh, medical study done with data of the Apple Watch. And it's pretty impressive. Huh? The Apple Watch data, the heartbeat data, the cardiogram that they make, uh, can now predict if someone has diabetics with an 85% accuracy. And I think this will happen more in the future that the devices that we use, our smartphone and our smart watches, will help us to monitor our health and, and act like some sort of a first warning signal to make sure that if we have a certain disease, that it tells us earlier so that we have a bigger chance of getting better. Maybe the biggest surprise on the uh, stock market this week came from Twitter. Twitter increased with 15% on Wall Street. And the reason is that they're, they're making a profit. And this was uh, a much bigger profit than what the markets anticipated. Uh, and even though the user base is getting flat, the engagement is getting flat, uh, still the market was happily surprised to see that Twitter was actually making more money than they were in the past. And this is now the, the path that Twitter has chosen to figure out how they can monetize their current user base as much as possible. Surprising news from Snapchat. Um, the share, the stock value of Snapchat went up with 40% this week. And that's because for the first time in a long time, they announced that they had a, a big increase in the number of users of their platform. It actually increased with 18%. And most people didn't think that would happen anymore since Facebook copy pasted everything. So at this moment, Snapchat has good news and the market is excited and the stock went up with 40%. Next week, the Apple HomePod is coming to market and this is a, a new competitor for Amazon Echo and Google Home. Uh, but the first reviews are not positive and this is what we've already been afraid for, that serious underperforming compared to Alexa and Google, uh, which is a big problem because um, these players have an established market share. Plus, these players are about three to four times more cheap than uh, the Apple HomePod. So Apple is really focusing on sound quality and the question is, will that be enough for uh, to make the HomePod a successful product if the voice interface is less performing than what people are used to in this market space. Now. So guys, this was my weekly update filmed from uh, Austin, Texas. I'm not in the city as you can see, but I'm just outside of the city here uh, to present for a client on their conference. And uh, next week there won't be a weekly as I'm taking a week off and I'm focusing on my family next week. Uh, but I hope to see you again two weeks from now in a new update about marketing and technology. See you in two weeks, guys. Bye-bye.